guys in this video we are going to discuss about how to read the solar panel specifications and how to measure the short circuit current and open circuit voltage and how to obtain the required voltages to match with the battery system or a battery bank and required input voltage for a inverters in the solar system let us start now First, let us see how to read the specification of a given solar panel. So for any given solar panel, you can read the specification at the back side of the panel. So which will give these details like a peak power. So that means it can produce up to 80 watts for a given optimal conditions and uh, the maximum uh, load voltage. It can generate up to 17.64 and uh, the maximum current can deliver uh, with uh, the load is 4.43 and uh, without any load in the open circuit voltage condition it can generate up to 21.6 volt and uh, it is, when it is uh, shorted then you can see up to 4.98 amperes and uh, 1000 watts per meter square is the radiance of this given solar panel right so now let us see how to uh, measure the open circuit voltage take one a simple digital multimeter and uh, you can uh, see the panel is connected with a simple isolator and uh, the meter is connected with it and when we close this isolator then you can read the voltage across this uh, panel when the panel is uh, given uh, in the lighting condition so this is called the open circuit voltage and if you want to see it in a practical way you can see like this that when the panel is connected across the multimeter in the voltage mode and with isolator so when the isolator is connected so you can see that the current uh, the voltage appearing across this particular meter for measuring the short circuit current we are going to use the ammeter and it's also connected in the same fashion since it's the short circuit uh, current we are just connecting across the panel so that means we are shorting the panel and we will see the current when the lighting is given to the panel and the uh, isolator is closed. So this is what I get in this uh, solar panel. So I get almost 4.55 amperes when it is connected across and it is shorted with a multimeter. So that is for the single solar panel, how to measure the short circuit current and the open circuit voltage. And uh, for achieving the required voltage for the battery given battery uh, bank, we can uh, see here if, it, if um, the inverter input voltage is 12 volt, then we may have a 12 volt battery bank. Or uh, if the inverter uh, has 24 volt input, then that means you will have a 24 volt uh, battery bank. So in that case, 24 volt battery bank uh, when it is connected. So if you have the panel which can able to generate only 20 volt or 21 volt open circuit voltage, it is not enough to generate 24 volt. So that means we need to connect the panels in the series connection. So when we connect two panels, at least in series, it can able to generate open circuit voltage up to almost 40 volt. And when it's connected to the battery bank or a load, then the voltage would drop to it's a required level and the charge controller will regulate it so that the battery will charge without any uh, problem otherwise we should have a high voltage open circuit voltage uh, solar panels like when we have a 350 watts panel or 400 watts panel we will see almost 36 volt output or uh, 48 volt output so that time uh, even a single panel can meet the uh, battery bank um, voltage capacity like 24 volt or whatever it is okay so basically if you have a 12 volt uh, uh, battery bank there is no issue with it in case if you have 24 volt then we need to go for this series connection so here we can see i have connected a three solar panels in series it is similar to connecting the three batteries in series so the voltage would increase uh, it is a summation of the voltage of individual panels and the current is going to be same in the series circuit. So this is a simple uh, KVL and KCL now, so it, which is also applied here. So here you can see a uh, graphical representation is given. Six volt panels, so three panels are connected in series and each can generate up to three amperes. So when it is connected in series, the net uh, 
uh, output voltage is 18 volt, which is the summation of all three panels, and the current is going to be the 3 ampere, which is common for all three panels. The open circuit voltage for a series connected uh, uh, solar panel, it is a very similar way to measure, but the panels are connected in series here, back to back, and um, the isolator is connected to connect and isolate the uh, panels from the meter when it is required. I will connect it so that I can measure the open circuit voltage. So this is how the connection is made. So the positive of uh, one panel is connected to the negative of another panel and uh, the other uh, positive terminal is connected to isolator from the isolator is connected to a voltmeter and uh, the negative terminal of the other panel is connected to the isolator through again to the panel. So this connection when you made and then the isolator is uh, connected. So this is actually the shown device is actually the MCB, but we need to have a isolator here to close and open the circuit. So the summation of these two uh, panel open circuit voltages is shown here. So approximately 19 volt is the panel output open circuit voltage. So it is getting added up and you get 38.8 volt. For short circuit current, when we measure the short circuit current across these two panels the similar way so we are going to connect the panel in series and we have isolated to close and open and the meter is connected in a meter mode so this is a connection diagram and we see here uh, plus minus the sim similar connection is connected and we are going to measure the uh, current here so you can see the current for these uh, both panels Actually, in the specification you could have seen, it is almost 4.56 short circuit current, which is approximately equal to uh, 5 ampere, which is given in the uh, specification details. Here, since it is connected in series, so we get 4.56. Okay, so this is about the uh, connections, how to make uh, the series connection and uh, what will happen to the voltage and what will happen to the uh, current. So let us see how the practically it is connected and uh, uh, the readings are taken through a small uh, video. So you can see here the panels are connected in series. The positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the other panel. And the positive terminal of the other panel is connected to the multimeter. And the negative terminal is connected also to the multimeter. So the multimeter is get, kept in a current measurement uh, selection so that it reads a uh, 4.9 approximately amperes current. For measuring the voltage, open circuit voltage, change this to voltage knobs. So it is already kept in voltage mode. So you can see the voltage is getting added up so that you get a 38.38 volt. So with the available 38 volt, you can uh, connect a 24 volt battery bank and uh, also you can connect that 24 volt battery bank to 24 volt inverter. So this is how we connect the uh, solar panel uh, in series connections. Thank you.